My sweet goat, I'm approaching 100 hours in Apex Legends, and uh, if you're as hooked as I am, you probably are too. I mean, how could you not be? The game's not only great, it also happens to be the best battle royale on the market. People that were never into BR games before suddenly were able to pick this up and totally enjoy the sh** out of it. I'm talking about old Halo 2 fans, I'm talking about just old Halo fans, I'm talking about older shooter fans, people who just enjoyed shooters back in the day, they're picking this game up and they're saying, ah, oh, I like this, this is... I like the way this feels. It's got some of the tightest controls you can find in a shooter, and it has a pinging system that we had no idea we needed until it was actually there. Everything about Apex Legends can be summed up in one word, and that word is success. But look, regardless of how successful it is, it's still far from perfect, and there's definitely some things that could be implemented within the game to make it all that much better. Now, obviously, the guys at Respawn know this. They're not a bunch of nincompoops. They're established developers with big gamer dicks who I have no doubt in my mind are working day in and day out to ameliorate the Apex experience for every single legend that decides to make the jump into the arena. But look, we've got to talk about, and as fans of the game, we've got some suggestions to make. So let's do it. Let's talk about the five things that would make Apex a whole lot better. Oh, hey, this is weird. You were expecting some basic gameplay after a quick whoosh, and instead, you ended up being this close to my face. Look, uh, Respawn, it would be real nice, real swell of you, in fact, if you allowed me to reconnect to the game that you f***ed me out of. I'm gonna be honest with you here. I don't really get angry whenever it happens, but sometimes I'm in the middle of a match and I'm having a great time wreaking havoc on my enemies and it, with the tools that you guys have provided. And then you guys pull me out of boom boom time and, and I'm, I'm left feeling a little bit hurt. And just, just hear me out here. I'm willing to bet that someone's watching this right now and is able to relate to this exact sentiment. They're feeling the exact same way I am. Not enraged, not angry at all, not really pissed, not overly tilted, but just a little hurt. And hoping that, you know, you'll either find a way to never f us again, or at the very least, allow us to, you know, continue where we left off. If broken games like PUBG can make this happen, I'm sure that you wonderful folks at Respawn can definitely implement the option to reconnect to a game after a disconnect. But that's not all. How about a Riku option? I believe that Apex is intentionally designed to kind of bring you into the lobby after a game to debrief and just kind of, kind of have a moment of reprieve. But I still think that it could benefit from a Riku option after a loss. Especially after a loss, actually. I can understand the desire to debrief after a win, but I find that this game is best played when you push through the losses. And the best way to push through a loss is just by giving a direct route to a completely new match. A Riku option would be a very good way of keeping the losers in the gameplay loop. I know plenty about loss in Apex, I know about it all too well. I know exactly what it feels like to say one more game for several hours. So how about it? You feel like keeping us in the gameplay loop indefinitely? Now one of the most impressive features of Apex obviously is the ping system and, and, and the amount of work that they put into creating that ping system. And, and you know, as such it allows for people to go micless. But sometimes there's some things that, that, that you need that aren't really there. Especially when your team decides to go ahead and split off in three directions and you're just left wondering, where the f*** are you guys? When are you guys coming back? Wouldn't life be a lot easier if you had a ping to kind of regroup? I certainly think so, and you know what? I'm willing to go ahead and bet some money on the fact that Respawn does too. Let's put in a get the f back here ping. How about it, huh? We all know death is inevitable in Apex. Inevitable. You're gonna die, bro. Somebody is gonna kill you. You're gonna get really cocky, you're gonna feel real geared out, and then someone's gonna outplay you. At that point, I can imagine it being pretty interesting to get a summary of how you died, how much damage you inflicted, what what the what the other person's loadout was. Were they totally beefed up, or were they a puny little gremlin? Something like that could definitely allow for a player's mind to kind of reconstruct their demise. You know, create a playback of sorts, and kind of figure out exactly where they, where they messed up to, to end up in the situation that they're in now. I think that would also be a pretty neat addition to the game. Another thing that I feel like the community would welcome are commendations, so ways to kind of reward the winners with specific things like most damage done or most most heals. Most heals is actually a really important one. This can be tracked by either someone using their actual heal bot or just giving another player meds that end up being used later. So when a match is won and it shows the player's scorecards, it gives the player who provided the most heals or whatever, whatever you want to call it, 
a, a commendation of sorts for doing just that thing. It's something that can even remain highlighted in the lobby. I don't know, they could have like some kind of uh, glow to them because because uh, they, they, they did a certain thing, which maybe could also translate to an experience buff in the next match. I feel like this would really encourage people to play for the team instead of the individual, allowing them to secure a collective victory again and again and again. It'd be a great way of saying, hey, this is a team game. Play this game aggressively, cooperatively, and have a good time. Look, I think those recommendations were pretty reasonable. If you don't think so, go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you think so, also go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you like the video, feel free to actually leave a like, hit the sub button, and ding that bell icon. If you want to see more of me, you can always catch me on twitch.tv slash MrBuntyKing, where I stream Monday to Friday quite regularly, and we, we play a lot of Apex. I'm pretty excited for Sekiro. Sekiro comes out next month. I already got that pre-ordered. Can't wait to play that. So if that's your cup of tea, feel free to drop by. I would absolutely love to see you. Until next time, I love you. Bye. <laughs>